Hi, welcome to Wondershare Edromax. Today's tutorial will take you through several ways to create flowchart easily with Edromax to enhance your diagramming skills. As our many users ask to know, what is easy way of creating flowcharts? So we bring the Edromax for creating quick and easy process flowcharts. Let's understand the flowcharts basics before proceeding to advanced level built in flowcharts template. When you're trying to code a program, especially a complicated program, it's really helpful to organize your thoughts, organize the process, organize the pattern of how you're going to get the outcome that you want, and flowcharts are an amazing tool for making that happen. Flowchart communicates steps in a process very effectively and visually. What is a flowchart? Flowchart is a schematic representation of an algorithm or a process. It enables to be a visual representation of the sequence of steps and a decision needed to perform a process, and it can provide you the solution to a given problem via diagrammatic representation intuitively. Each step in a sequence is noted with diagram shape. Steps are linked by connecting lines and directional arrows, which logically follow the process from beginning to end. Flowchart is power business tool with proper design and construction of steps with different shapes and symbols. Let's understand a simple example of the flowchart. We want to check the temperature that is either above freezing or below freezing. So we are starting with input to read the temperature into input slash output block. So then we'll proceed to decision block to check whether temperature is above 32 degrees centigrade or below the freezing. So if says, we, yes, it is less than 32 degree, then it should print temperature is below freezing. And if says, no, temperature is greater than 32 degree, then it will print temperature is above freezing, which comes to an end the process as decision has been made. As we look at the parts of a flowchart note that the different processes have different shapes, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about symbols what they are used for. So the first one is start slash end rounded rectangle. Shape is rounded rectangle, your flowchart may repeat steps or backtrack of a steps. We always begin with routed rectangle represents start. Process rectangular. Rectangle is used for the process steps. Process is basically the verb, what are we doing? Like reading the documents in previous example, printing a or b. Input slash output, rohombus. User needs to input data or some values or program is going to output information to the user or another program. So for this, we use parallelogram that indicates that our manual operation needed. Next we have decision quadrilateral. This shape is a rhombus for geometry. You may remember that a rhombus is a quadrilateral with all four sides congruent or equal. It is different from a square in that the angles are not all right angles like a square. Some refer to this block as a diamond because it has been rotated about 45 degrees, whereas most rhomba lie on their bases. So here's where our decisions come. This is where we're going to be asking yes or no questions in our program. Our flowchart is going to go off in two different directions based on the answers to those questions. Circle. Circle in flowchart is also known as connector symbol which indicates that the flow continues and used to represent a point at which the flowchart connects with another process. Arrows. We need to keep track of the direction of the flow, and so arrows do that for us sometimes there's one arrow, in case of decisions there may be two arrows for yes or no, yes for one direction and no for another. Alright, so let's take a look at an example. Let's take an example about how to create a complete flowchart with Edromax for better understanding a step. Navigate to File. Select Flowchart from the categories and let's recreate a credit card approval process. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. Click on the library symbol and add a cross-functional horizontal library under the flowchart category. Next, drag and drop a cross-functional horizontal swim lane. Go to Properties to increase the number of swim lanes. Next, add the title and name as needed. Start building the flowchart using the necessary symbols from the symbol library as shown. Next, select connector under the home tab. Choose the appropriate connector and then connect all symbols to indicate the flowchart. Edromax also allows you to extend the swim lanes as required. Uncheck grid lines under the view tab. Once done with the flowchart, use the built-in theme on the right pane to make it look more beautiful. Right-click and choose Select All Text to adjust the font size. Go to the View tab, click on the From Beginning icon to view the flowchart in a single frame. 
Now let's see a few examples of process flowcharts that are already available in Edromax. Here's a planning and review of internal controls audit process flowchart. This is a hiring process flowchart. Here's a training process flowchart and a sales process flowchart. Similarly, Edraw Max has plenty of flowchart examples to use as resources. Different flowchart types will also be represented by different symbols. They are meant to be useful for anyone who needs to use flowcharts in any software project. Let's take a look at some common different symbols from different flowchart types. 1. Workflow diagram symbols. 2. Audit flowchart symbols. 3. BPMN symbols. Now you've understood how a flowchart works and you've built your entire flowchart diagram. Thanks for watching this tutorial on flowchart diagrams. Subscribe to our channel below to get access to more helpful videos and tutorials.